How does it feel about this is your second show at Goldmark? Yes. So why back here again? Yeah, that's a good question. Why? I like people who likes me. <laughs> How unusual of you. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> The use of the copper red. Mm. Is this the first time you've started really using, since you've been working porcelain, yeah. to, to work with a yeah, this such is an intense colour? You know, it's really <laughs> continuous exercising <laughs> myself. Yes. You know, because in my youth, you know, copper red is a sort of things. You know, I knew I would never use it because it was it was only for the emperor, wasn't it? This glaze originally. Yeah, originally. And, and discovered in Shenzhen in the first place. I think so, I but think so. you know, uh, before that they had uh, this underglaze copper decoration. Yeah. In fact, surprisingly, uh, that decoration was older than cobalt. Really? Yeah. But uh, never became popular because it was so difficult. And muddy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And also, you know, so if you decorate, yeah. one side may go completely yeah. transparent, you know, so really very rare. Yeah. You know, it's, a, it's a, one of those things, amazing, you know, those ancient Chinese, without knowing physics of, yeah. chemistry of, yeah. you know. I know. Yeah. It is extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, when I found Goldmark, it was because mm. we moved into the area, and suddenly mm. finding there was a, a gallery that sold pots mm. and, and really good work, mm. I couldn't believe it. And mm. it was, to have a gallery of this kind in the middle of the Midlands was just mm. seemed extraordinary. Mm. I'm, just, I'm just a big fan of Mike's, because I think his whole approach mm. is professional. Mm. He has a really professional team, but he loves, he loves mm. it. And maybe that's what you're talking about also, mm. that actually every single person in pottery shows here. Mm. He's committed to, completely, mm. unreservedly. Yeah, and I asked him, you know, why, why do you bother? Yes, yes, yes. Why do you yes, bother? Yes, yes. Yeah, he yes. said, because I like it. Yes. You know, it's terrific. That's the man. Yeah, yeah. That's the man you have to be. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. And when he told me what he wanted to do, I, mm. said, I said, you're mad. <laughs> mm. <laughs> kind of like, this is ceramics. Mm. But he's got people to understand mm what it is all about yeah. and, and value that. And I remember buying a teapot of yours for 120 quid and people were saying, how can you spend that on a teapot? And now people are saying, what, you got a Takashi teapot for 120 quid? But, but the point is, is that I've had that ever since. I've, it's given me great joy. It's, it's, I think you made the point of, you know, you'll buy a car and put it on the road, leave it parked in the road, costing a lot more. So the idea of using something that costs money is, is Neither here nor there, and and I think that you know Mike is like that as well. It's about mm. pots that are used, and, mm. and and the use is part of the experience. Mm. And I think you know the brilliant thing now that work is being sold more and more on the internet mm. is how, in what he does here in the gallery, mm. getting people to actually understand that, yeah. and not simply the the, the visual object, yeah. but actually it's a lot more than that. The gallery is the one that is building the confidence with the mm. clients. It's not the potter. The possible has the exactly. confidence with the mm. gallery owner and that they are that mediator. Mm. This is great to see. 